Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tia and I'm a freelance makeup artist. If you'd like to know how I created this holiday bronzed glowy glam, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first for skin, I'm gonna take the Tatcha the Water Cream and I'm just gonna apply a nice layer of this all over my skin. It's really nice, this moisturizer. So I'm just gonna apply that everywhere. I've been getting more dry around my nose, so I'm just going to focus on that area a little bit more. I'm just going to take the NARS Radiant um, Tinted Moisturiser. I've used this for a while. Um, it's a little bit more of a fuller coverage than a normal tinted moisturiser, which is why I like it, because some can just do nothing to your skin. It's like you've not even bothered to put anything on. Um, whereas this is really, really nice. So I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. Just going to apply this all over my skin. It's nice and hydrating, this moisturiser. So with my skin being a little bit more dry at the moment, it is perfect. With this, you can build this up um, to give you more of a coverage um, or you can put a tiny bit on mix it in with your moisturizer that's really nice um, to make it obviously a thinner consistency um, so it's perfect really for every day so you can kind of design it for how you want your skin to look throughout the day which is perfect I'm just going to take the NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. Just going to put a tiny bit down the centre of my face. I just really place this where I want a little bit more coverage. And I'm just going to buff that into the skin. So this is a look that you can do with minimal brushes, minimal products, and it's just perfect for every day. I'm just gonna buff that in under my eye, but the excess product that's left on my brush, I'm just gonna sweep that over my lids as well. And the same on this side. And just over the lid. So I am just going to put a tiny bit more just over a couple of blemishes, just a little bit of redness. So instead of blending that concealer away that we've put on the problematic areas, what I tend to do is I'll push it into the skin rather than buffing it away. Um, that way it just gives you the fuller coverage on those specific areas. So now that our base is on, I'm just going to use Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. So I'm just going to start to warm up my skin. So I'm applying this to my hairline, to my cheeks, and under my chin and my jawline. This bronzer is perfect for whilst you're on holiday. So even just a little bit of moisturiser on your skin and this bronzer just to warm up your skin. And it gives you that really nice healthy bronzed look for being on holiday. So I'm just going to do the other side as well. tiny bit down the sides of my nose. I'm not going to do any proper contour or anything with this look because it's just for day to day and um, so I'm just going to run a tiny bit of that down my nose. Just really really natural that way. With the same bronzer what I'm going to do on an eyeshadow fluffy brush I'm just going to run this through the crease of my eyes. This is just gonna give our eyes a little bit of definition without using a shadow. Give them a little bit of depth as well, a little bit of color, which is perfect. So next I'm going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural in Give Me Sun. Apply that to the areas that we've applied the Chanel bronzer. This is just gonna set the cream. The 
again down the sides of the nose. Nothing too harsh, nothing too heavy. It's just going to set those areas. Okay, so on another fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to take again the MAC um, bronzer and give me some. So I'm just going to blend that into the eyes where we put the Chanel bronzer. This is going to stop that product from creasing throughout the day. Anywhere where I use a cream, I'll always use a powder on top to set. Okay, so next I'm going to take the NARS blusher in Dolce Vita. This is a really nice um, rosy pink colour for blusher. It's got a little bit of a shimmer in it as well, which is nice to give you that glow, like a holiday summer glow look. So I'm just going to place this on the apples of my cheeks. And ever so slightly up into that bronzer. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my forehead and a little bit on my nose. That just gives you a really nice healthy colour. For highlighter I'm just taking the Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette and I'm just going to take the shade Glow Impact Powder which is a really nice golden um, highlighter shade. I'm just going to apply this to the highest points of my cheeks like so. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of this on the end of my nose, a little bit on the bridge and a little bit under my brow bone and a little bit on my cupid's bow. This is a really nice um, powder highlight. So next I'm going to do brows. So I just always start by brushing up my brow hairs. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown and I'm just going to start at the tail of my brow and I'm going to just create really light hair strokes. I like my brows quite straight, quite neat, don't really like a fluffy brow but I am going to create those little hair strokes just to keep my brows looking quite natural. And then when I get the, to the front of my brow, again, I'm just using a really, really light hand and I'm just creating tiny hair strokes. Just keeps them looking really, really natural this way. I'll always just give them a brush out afterwards just to make sure there's no harsh lines within them. Okay, so next I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just going to run that over my brows. It just kind of makes the colour of the dip brow a little bit more natural. Let's take a little bit of that powder as well and just set where we put our concealer um, under our eyes down the centre of my nose and up onto my forehead. I'm not going to bake because we just want this really natural. Sometimes your powder can feel um, too powdery and too cakey on your skin. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my chin just where I can see a little bit of shine. Okay, so next I'm just going to take some eyelash curlers. I'm just going to curl my lashes. I like to go over my lashes with curlers quite a few times just because my lashes are quite straight so it makes such a difference and you can apply um, quite a bit of pressure when you're doing this so don't be scared. Your eyelashes won't fall out so do not worry. Although if you don't have the rubber thing in the middle of them then it will just snap them straight off. So make sure when you're doing this that you've always got your rubber guard in the middle of your eyelash curlers. We don't want no disasters. So I'm just going over them quite a few times just because I have some really annoying eyelashes in the outer corner that stick straight out and won't curl. So I'm just going to make sure I've got those. And then for mascara, I'm taking the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. It's really good this. I hate when mascaras are too wet when you first get them that they go all clumpy on your eyelashes it's like the worst thing ever so annoying I'm not going to be using any false lashes because we want this to just be really nice and natural so I'm going to give my lashes a good coat of mascara 
everyone pulls that really weird face, don't they, when they do a mascara as well. I'm really trying hard not to. <laughs> Why is it that whenever you put mascara on, you open your mouth? It's so weird. So weird, and I can't stop myself from doing it either. So I apologise if you can see straight into my mouth. Now I'm going to move on to lips. So I'm just going to take the NARS um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bettina, and I'm just going to run this all over my lip. I'm going to focus it on my lip line. This is just like a really, really nice dusky pink. So I'm just going to take my favourite gloss to put on top of that lip pencil. This is um, by Fenty Beauty. It is the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. It's so, so nice. It's like a really nice brownie nude shimmer shade. Just makes your lips look amazing. It's gorgeous for being on holiday. That nice bronzy look with a nice glossy lip. Stunning. So I'm just going to put that all over my lip. It's lasted me ages as well, this lip gloss, and I'll, I'll put it on every day. It looks gorgeous without a lip liner. Um, and I, I'm sure I got this June last year. Yeah, because I got it for my birthday. Heard about it, and then I went and bought it um, around my birthday time. So June last year, and it's still going strong. I mean, it is coming towards the end. Taste amazing and it just feels gorgeous on your lips I love it really really nice product it's the only thing I've actually tried from Fenty Beauty as well so I do need to um, get some more products from there final thing to set my makeup I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Lock It setting spray this is really really nice and I'm just gonna spray this all over my skin it smells like cucumbers this it's gorgeous Okay, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday bronzy glowing glam. If you have any suggestions for any other videos, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos.